guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? <laughs> happy New Year's Eve. Like, I'm pre-filming, so apologies, but Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs> um, every year I sit down and I reflect on my past year, and I try to find things that I can do to do better and maintain um, and keep up with my New Year's resolutions. So I wanted to quickly uh, say last year's New Year's resolutions I succeeded at. My number one one was to consume a lot of water and I do consume like four liters of water a day and I managed to keep that up over the course of the year. So I just wanna remind you that you can do things if you put your mind to them. The second point I wanna make about New Year's resolutions is they don't have to be big. And that's kind of the rule I set for myself a couple of years back to only make small resolutions that were attainable so that by the time the year came to an end, I would be happy. So. I have a few resolutions I want to share with you guys. Bear with me. I apologize if this is all over the place. I'm kind of excited to share them. So without further ado, New Year's resolution number one is to stay on my water game. Um, believe it or not, water makes you feel better. So many people out there don't believe it, but I'm telling you, it's a good thing. That's my first, um, my first goal is to maintain the goal I set a couple of years ago and I'm still holding strong. So. That's resolution one. Resolution two is to practice being kinder to myself. That's a tough one. It's a hard one to admit. I am so guilty of always being a people pleaser and always being there for everybody, even if it's detrimental to me. I have caused myself to crack up along the way, I think, this year, trying to be there for people. And it's hard. And at the top of this pandemic, when it hit, I learned very quickly who my real friends were. And it was a hard reality. It's it's hard. <laughs> um, it's hard to give yourself grace. And then lots of bad things happened. And I just kind of rolled with the punches this year. And I never gave myself the grace and the time to grieve that I needed. And I think uh, friendships die and chapters end and it's and that's okay um so I, I hope this year i'm going to give myself a bit more grace and how to deal with relationships ending and things going awry because i'm a fixer and if i can't fix it i just i will beat myself up about it and um and this year has really kind of did a number on me for that so we're going to reset the priorities we're going to focus more on the mental health this year and we're really going to take care of me which it's something I don't do, and it's hard. Like, I take care of me physically, but I'm always focused on the next fire, and the world is so fast-paced. And I think this pandemic forced all of us to really slow down this year, and I'm grateful it did, but it also kicked me hard in the gut. So I wanna really, really focus on me for a while. So that's my goal. That's my real, that's the big one, that's the doozy, and I think that's the resolution I'm gonna struggle the most with. But I'm gonna work on being kind to myself and giving myself grace and and growing as a person because it's tough. Um, it's really tough. Uh, New Year's resolution three is not as heavy. Uh, it's <clears throat> it's uh, be more environmentally friendly. I have challenged myself and I've found myself doing this over the years, the last couple of years, like slowly phasing out plastics, um, like buying reusable things like parchment, reusable parchment papers, um, good quality water bottles, reusable coffee cups, like I'm slowly eliminating things like no more makeup wipes etc etc so I'm really trying to implement that in my life or the big one I started about a month or two ago was reusable Keurig k-cups that was a task but my god not only is it 10 times more environmentally friendly it is like 10 million times cheaper so sometimes it pays off just financially let alone environmentally but the goal is to implement a few more environmental things just a couple to maintain them for the year and do my best to help this beautiful globe that we live on and my fourth goal this year is to just is to just focus on learning how to live life without Lola. And I know that's dumb. And I know she died back in April. It's been a while, but I've had a really hard time 
like letting go and I didn't want to cry. I really didn't want to cry. When I get sad, I don't deal with it. I kind of find other projects and it catches up to you. <laughs> oh God, I was going to try to film another video after this. <laughs> I love how that's my first thought. I'm sitting here dealing with my feelings and my bigger concern is filming a vlog this intro and video after this. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to learn how to just be okay with not having anybody here. Like, I'm okay with being single. I actually really like being single because, I, I don't know, I, I, I struggle to tolerate the human race. <laughs> It's bad, okay? There's no man out there, I think, for me. I really don't think so. But, um, I've really struggled with, like, not having her hair. And then not having an international student this year has also been really tough. Oh, my God. I think with the international kids, too, they, they do rely on you, right? Like, it's your job to keep them alive and get them to school. And, like, it's, like, very mom of me, I guess. And I'm really good at being a mom. I know that. I'm really good at it. Look at how perfect Lola was. I'm biased. Sorry. Um, but, like, I have this really amazing bond with each one of my international kids. And we talk every day. And, you know, they're really close. And I love them to pieces. Like, if one of them messaged me tomorrow and said, Amanda, I want to go to university in Newfoundland. Can I live with you for four years? I would be like come home to me sweet babies <laughs> like I literally am that person so I'm so used to having people to take care of so my goal this year is to learn how to not take care of the people in my life and just do more for me I know that goes back to like giving myself kindness and grace and taking care of myself but I really need to learn how to be alone um and that's tough like it's tough like generally speaking I'm okay with being alone like I don't get lonely being home it's it's little things that I notice that really bother me, like decorating for Christmas by myself. That was hard. Um, my birthday was hard. Uh, my birthday sucked, actually. And I talked about that in my three-part vlog <laughs> that I did this year. I like I was so like I was editing that footage from that birthday weekend, and it was almost like I was vlogging to distract myself from being sad like and that's what you guys do for me you you really you pull me out of that rut so I really want to find a way this year to continue to do YouTube because I love it not because I'm using it as a hobby to distract me from the reality of my the pain in my heart or any sadness that I'm feeling so anyway guys I'm sorry I cried uh, let me know down below what your New Year's resolutions are this year. I'm curious to hear what you're doing. Let's support each other in the comments and get a good start on 2021. I am here for you. I love you. You are the best. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe. Turn on notifications. And let's go kick 2021 off with the most positivity and joy we possibly can. I love you guys. Bye.